And it's Caridwin, and welcome back to another Monday on Wednesday Minecraft Survival. And if you look behind me, you'll see they're finally, finally in place. And most of them are even properly loaded. No, that one's not. No, one. that one's one of these. Is it this one? It's that one. <coughs> yeah, four more of those. <coughs> Haven't filled these up yet. That one is, though. But down lower. No, I did fill those up. They're just down lower for some reason. <coughs> for some reason, that's... The, the capacitor, or the comparator, should be what... what? Let's try that again. <coughs> The comparator should be what's locking these hoppers. For the most case, it is. But for some reason, some of these, it's one lower than it should be. And I don't know quite why that is. <clears throat> Leave it to good old redstone logic. But it doesn't really matter as long as it works. The problem being, let's see that one. Is one of these no, no down here can't quite get <clears throat> see it should be these because that will activate these which will set this redstone line so that when that's turned it'll flip through here now I'm not quite sure if having that drop down one hopper before it locks will affect the effectiveness of that switch. <clears throat> we'll have to see. Those aren't, <clears throat> excuse me, those aren't fully loaded to the requirement of 29 yet so that they they max out or at least they transfer their contents down the line once they go beyond 20. What is it, 29? Good job, Sweet. Okay, that's one. See, in Bedrock, I believe the number is 41. Because all the videos I've seen on this design have 41 in a hopper. In this version, apparently 29 does the same thing. So we'll go with that number since that seems to be what's working for our edition. Oh. Wrong room. Let's go ahead and get take care of this <coughs> since we're here. Of course, it took about two hours of grinding down below to get enough iron. Only 11. That's not worth wasting. It's not worth wasting uh, kelp blocks. I'm running a little low on kelp blocks because I was over smelting. So that part is taken care of. Of course, we have only got seven left. Which means we're going to need a lot more iron still. Huh, while we're here, and since it is night, <clears throat> let's make the most efficacious, effic efficacious? Something with a big word. Use of our time. Give us the most night time before we have to deal with phantoms. Is there anything we need to dump off? No, not really. <clears throat> we'll just head out in this direction. <clears throat> Well, there's a first. I uh, know. No, come back here. I did leave the door open, but <clears throat> which is not a good thing. I just so so you can see we've done some work up there. I was just so surprised that my minecart was there. Not only was it there, it was there. I need to bring some stone over here. That's what I need to do so I can work on these reflecting. Reflecting pools, I think that's what they're called. 
I really want to clean this up a bit too. <clears throat> because it's not a smooth transition right now, still. To do this, you make your way in, and there, now we go. I want to smooth that out. So as you can see, we've been working on the second floor. We're gonna set of stairs. <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do is extend this, extend this balcony out a little bit. I may even put uh, some pillars down that way. Not, not the regular block, but the chisel block, so it looks more like actual pillars holding up the balcony. I mean, that's a pretty good view. I was originally going to put the balcony out back, but then I looked at this and said, no, I have a much better view out here. And it overlooks our little rail line that goes through there and goes all the way over there, or will eventually. But then I thought, you know, <clears throat> I realized one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our design was a little bit off. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> I think I'm going to put a window here, maybe run a stair along this wall to the third floor, which is where I'm going to try and put... So I was trying to find an efficient, out-of-the-way place to put the enchanting setup. And if I did, it would come out to here, to this space right here, and it would block being able to walk up these stairs. So we're going to walk up the edge here. Yes, it's going to still be a little offset on that floor, on the third floor. <clears throat> but it will be out of the way enough where it won't necessarily be noticed, noticeable, especially since the walkway will walk up this way. But that also means we're going to need more nether quartz. We've still got three stacks back at base, back at home. And it takes about two of these stacks. just to do a little bit more than this. This is, I think, about a stack or so. Because I believe you get 16. I think it's 16. Well, we might as well convert those because we're gonna have to do that anyway. <clears throat> I did bring a burning stand in here, which means I also need to move these inside so I don't have to keep running outside to do this. If we do this. Yeah, we get 16. So we get 16 blocks per stack. For one more bed. So one stack <clears throat> gives us about this. Maybe a little less, actually. Now that I'm looking at what I've got here, what I do want to do, though, is take that take that stack. So I remember that this is no longer going to be a balcony. There we go. You know, you can be a window depending on how these stairs turn out. <clears throat> Let's show these back in here. Bonsai! Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Bonsai! There we go. Out of the water. All right. <clears throat> that makes so much noise. So one of the other things we've been doing is deciding. <clears throat> how this is going to go. Okay, this is going to go straight on through as much as we can. We're going to have to make a little shift when we come to the river, which I believe is two hillsides away, one after this one. 
because we go through that next little hill. Well, maybe it's not. <clears throat> I thought there was one more. I need some more pork. I need I need to get those smelters up there. <clears throat> yeah, it was this one right here. So I'm gonna have to take this tree out. We're either gonna have to take the tree out and go down and all right. Well, I like to not mess with this hillside. And what I'd really like is to have this go in, this come out. So we'll have one line that's kind of splits into, I hear a spider, it splits into two, so then we come back out here. Tried to eyeball lining that up with that hole, might not quite be up, we might have to adjust it a little. Then we come through the birch forest, and on the other side of the birch forest is the swamp. And then off that way from the swamp is where that village is. <clears throat> and then further due south is that little village we actually originally started in. So we will con be connecting this up to all of that. <clears throat> but that means a lot more grinding, a lot more iron. Also, may need to put silk touch on a sword because I've been thinking about how I want to connect that up there to my floating island. And I think what I'm going to do is use stripped wood to make the planking. So I'm going to have two wide stripped wood from there. To those blocks, although we found that those blocks are below, they're going to have to be raised up. And then cobwebs as uh, rope bridge supports, <laughs> so we'll have somewhat of a rope bridge going from there to here. And I don't know what we're going to build up there, but we're going to build something up there. <clears throat> I may actually clear out some of this hill just so that this is then floating just like that so this whole thing is going to be floating about that high ow so we'll have to take out <clears throat> probably to that that here we'll have to take out all of this And since that's all in white, I was looking at diorite to switch out uh, polished diorite. It just doesn't look as good as quartz, which is just so expensive to build with. Thinking of like andesite and quartz lab up here. So that's that's on the list of projects, but we need to flesh out this build a little more and start collecting. I'm I've been looking and something I've decided I actually like. I didn't really need to have to take that last one down, but I like that. I like the look of that. So I think that is going to be the, the slatting for our rope bridge. Let's so get the other one out here just so it all matches. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted, but it'll do. This way I'm not wasting two inventory slots for the same thing. I do like the look of that. It's light, it's weathered. It looks better than oak as far as being a weathered look. And that's kind of what I want to go with. 
you know, and a weathered look for our, our root bridge. It's going to come. <clears throat> it's going to have to come at an odd angle. So I want it almost at a diagonal, and that that won't look quite right. <clears throat> so let's go back up there, toss these birch logs in the chest. One less thing to carry, and one more thing where it actually needs to be. Up we go. Do I have birch up here? Yes, I do. Let's see. <clears throat> I could cut down this tree. Do I have shears? I don't think I do. At least not here. Do I want to waste two ingots on shears? Sure, why not? Not like it's really going to make a difference in the overall amount of iron I need to collect right now. So let's get us some bushes. And then we will plant ourselves a birch tree. So we can start collecting birch wood to strip. Because we're going to need quite a bit of it to make that bridge. And what's a little more oak while we're at it? So let it stick the birch tree right there. Pick up the rest of this. We are so running out of space. What is in here that we don't need? Really don't. No. We're going to need andesite for later. Let's take one of these dirt stacks. We don't, oh no, let's keep the dirt stacks because we want to expand this island and we're going to need plenty of dirt for that. We do have a bunch of birch wood. So let's go ahead. Let's put the saplings back. logs. We will start stripping. And we'll stick them in there with the rest. So we're so low on torches. We can fix that. I think we just made some more. Not that we really needed it. There we go. And we still got more than we actually needed. We actually have to make a second chest. I think I will make a second chest. There we go. Of course, now I have to start sorting this mess. So the stuff I'm going to be using to go up here. Stuff I'm in the process of using up here. 
stuff I'm going to be doing stuff with at some point. Definitely need to go get that stone. Let's take the Oh, what I really need where? Let's put those doors up there. Just because we're going to be putting more doors. Let's get that aside because that's for our bridge. We'll be building with andesite at the other location. Let's go ahead while we're here. Since we've got three, let's go ahead and make another bed just so we have it. We'll probably end up putting it in our other location at some point. <clears throat> but this way, that's out of the way. <clears throat> that frees up that space. Frees up shears can go. And the rest of the stuff is kind of as we need it. Let's keep everything closer together. That's an awful lot of glass. I don't know why I made that much glass. Maybe he's going to use that for. I might end up using that for the tubes. So let's move these two blocks so I know that's why they're there. There we go. That's better sorted out, so at least I kind of know what's going on. All right, that'll do. That's something I need to do. Do I have? I don't know if I have any here. I'm going to have to go collect. Let's take one, two, three, four of those. Just to remind ourselves. Three of these. So we will go over here. Now, if I remember correctly, the it is fixed. For some reason, before when I was doing that, it wasn't acting as an infinite water source, and I don't know why, but it seems to have fixed, it fixed itself, so that's fine. So we will put these here. Dump off that sugar cane. Find a nice little spot like like this that'll do this will remind us that we need to put in some uh, nether work So we need to bring some other work back here. We definitely need some more um, out, some more quartz, a lot more quartz. We're gonna have to go into the nether again and collect up a whole. Hello. Goodbye. Oh no 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 no! Go away, Mr. Creeper. Don't 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 you dare blow up. If you're gonna blow up, come over here. We're not going to damage anything. That's better. I think I'm going to change this out to glass. I, I've got whoa! I've got plenty of it up there after all. So let's head back.
Shut that door. At least I know this time is was me and not a villager. While I'm over here, let's pick up a little more of this. Also, really, you grew right in my way. I'm going to take some carrots over there for two reasons. One to plant and the other for potions. Oak seeds, nothing else we really need here. All right. Came back here for another work. Stone. Is there anything else I needed while I was here? I have sugar cane. You know what I might take for is some of those. I don't see anything else here that I really desperately need over there. I do need that. That makes up for the four that I took out. So I'm down to two stacks of nether quartz. Because this will give me another half stack of, of blocks. thing that I need. Plenty of that. How much do I actually have? Oh, sure. Now you close the door. I'm almost there. I have a full stack. Do I have any over here? I don't think so. No. Okay. wasting uh, valuable yeah. gotta make it worth the smelting
This time we need to remember Shepard Or. Wow, this is twice in a row. I don't know if I can handle that. Minecarts, I guess I wiped out the indigenous population enough that nothing else is spawning right there to actually be riding my minecart. This is the first time since I built this thing that it's actually been there once, let alone twice. All right, so we are going to take this nether wart, stick it upstairs, start growing. The problem with that is, it, that's the problem with that, because that little, that little extra spot pushes you back that way and out of this water stream, and I need to fix that. Okay, so we've got some nether wart planted. We will make some awkward potions out of these. Rest down here. Slime blocks are going to go up here because we're going to be doing who knows what with those. More blocks there. Put that back in there. Uh, I want to plant those carrots, which means I need a hoe. Just a stone hoe will be fine. Yeah, there it is. So why can't I find the hoe? Where do we want to put these? I've got a tree going over here. Let's, let's go ahead and Plant these here. So now we got some carrots growing up here. Will we get lucky? Nope. Well, I don't know what we do need to do. Stripping some wood. I have no idea how much of this we're going to need. I just know we're going to need quite a bit. So maybe next time we're in that birch forest to the south, we're just going to start chopping down some trees like crazy. wasn't exactly the best timing for that now, was it? I think we're going to finish these off. Shove them back with the rest of them. Build ourselves another axe. And, you know, since we're going to be so much, do so much wood chopping and we have such a large amount of iron to collect anyway it's time for another uh, waste of iron and make an iron axe we're going to be cutting down a lot of trees 
for this. Tools go down here. Now we're set back up. Night is falling. And that view. You can see the lighting all the way back to the tunnel that leads to. We need to get the third floor roof on or we get totally soaking wet. Well, at least under here. We're safe from the storm for now, and as usual, we have run straight through this episode. We will start building this up, trying to, to design that rope bridge. We'll get a, a sword with silk touch on it so that we can start collecting some cobwebs, and then we will begin laying out the foundation for both our lab on that other floating island, of course, we're going to have to clear out that base so it actually is floating and not just part of it. And collecting the iron we need to further push south with our rail system. But since we have no more time, we're just going to stand here. Watch the rain from here, from our back balcony. Watch, watch it pour down on our slowly growing tower and say, watch out for the lightning. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and hit that bell for notification of all our upcoming juicy Minecraft content and tutorials. But as always, as for me, I am done. And we are out of here. We'll see you in the next one, guys.